kitty cat cam. Hi, Milo. Tell us why we're here today. Yeah? What else? Yeah? How does that make you feel? Oh, okay. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am a little bit of a mess today, but that's okay. I have such exciting different news. I don't know why I did this to myself, but I signed up for a 5k run. Ew, I don't like running. I'm not good at running. It's going to be a challenge, but you know what? It's going to be a fun challenge. You know why? I'm so glad you asked. I'm going to tell you why. So every year in Pensacola, Florida at this famous McGuire's restaurant, which I showed you before in my sister and I, we surprised our parents, made our parents cry video. It'll be in one of these corners up here. We went to lunch at McGuire's that day. Anyway, every year around St. Patrick's Day, McGuire's Irish pub, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, they have a St. Patrick's Day McGuire's 5K run. 5K is is 3.1 miles <laughs> but they have this event every year I don't think they had it for COVID uh, obvious reasons it's this huge event where people all get together and they do this 5k they get all decked out in St. Patrick's Day attire outfits and all that jazz I've never done it always have wanted to do it and so this year I said why not? And then why not vlog it for you guys? So that's the premise to start it all out. I am on my way to go pick up my packet from Meguiar's. Tomorrow, I'm gonna take you guys along with me on this experience. It's just me, so I don't know how much I can film me running, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Anyway, guys, let's start the vlog. I'm so excited. Let's have a fun St. Patrick's Day together. I'm so excited. All right, guys, I'm back. I have a wristband, woohoo. In this bag is all my McGuire's Run goodies. I'm so excited. I'm gonna put some of these on my face. I think that'll be fun. Maybe like, I don't know, on my shoulder or something cute like that. Some body stickers. Um, Hold on. I got a little McGuire's hat. It's supposed to be really windy tomorrow. I may or may not be able to wear it. We'll play it by ear, see what we can manage. This is my little Meguiar's t-shirt, which I'll show you guys tomorrow when I'm dressed and wearing that, getting ready for the race. Here is a map. And most importantly, I have my number. What's really cool about this number is 17 is a really good number for me. I was born on January 17th, but 17 plus 17 equals 34. And my number is 3417. I'm reading way too much into it, but I think I'm gonna go look for some other off planning on going to party city so that should be the next stop i will see you guys there all right walking up to party city hopefully we can find some st patrick's day stuff so that took about <laughs> two minutes. They are pretty picked over. Not many options. I really wanted some shamrock earrings, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I might try the dollar store for some like cute little things, but I doubt they're gonna have any jewelry. Anyway, we'll, we'll try it out, see what we find. I am back at home. I didn't go to the dollar store because I prioritized getting my nails done. I got like a green color, a green-ish color because I was thinking St. Patrick's Day, but also like these nails will last longer than St. Patrick's Day. And I went a little bit more like a mint green. So that was not just like a flamboyant, almost obnoxious green for like the next three weeks. So they look kind of blue, but in real life, they're like a mint green. Green. Anyway, not important. So I am back home. I am going to get an early night's rest for tomorrow because I have to be up super early. I will see you guys then. I can't wait. Hi guys. I am on the road. It is 
7.45. It is 36 degrees out today. So windy. This ought to be fun. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I got myself into, but I certainly plan on having fun. And honestly, it's probably a blessing in disguise that it's so cold because that will really motivate me to get her going, to run this thing as much as I can. Run, jog, probably power walk more often than not. It's gonna be a good day. It's a beautiful day. Sun shining, not many clouds in the sky, but it's cold. It's cold, guys. Fun facts with Elena, since I'm on my way there and I got time to kill. This is the 45th annual McGuire's Run. Maybe we'll be there for the 50. That would've been so cool if it were the 50 year anniversary because, you know, Disney, the Hard Rock Cafe, it all would've come full circle, but it's okay. I'll take a good 45 years. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. When I was checking in yesterday, they expected like, thousands of people. <sighs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Good thing I'm vaccinated. Hashtag relaxed, I'm vaxxed. Anyway, I am going to get there and I will check in with you guys as soon as I'm at McGuire's. I can't wait, I'll see you then. This is not even doing it justice, but it is, oh, that's, that's a good way to show you how windy it is. Oh my gosh. And our temperature update is 39 degrees Fahrenheit. I put a jacket on because it's going to be cold and it stinks because like I have all these little stickers. I'm all, I, I went all out because why not have fun with it? Yeah, so at least some glitter showing, but all my little fun stickers are all covered up, but it's okay. Maybe once I warm up or if the temperature warms up, I can show off my little glitter. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to get out of this car. I'm really not ready for this weather. Eventually, when I do make it out of this vehicle, I am going to show you guys what it looks like. You kind of got a glimpse of yesterday, and so today it should be really fun. The parking here was insane. I hope I don't get towed because that would suck. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Trying to find a spot that's not too windy for you guys. Oh my god, it's windy. Um, I just did a 5k, my first one ever, and I did it in about 40 minutes. They give you about an hour until the McGuire's bus comes around and picks you up, so I beat that. I showed you one clip of Marines running by. That was one of at least three that I saw. The first one I ended up trying to keep up with. I was jogging about a pace or two behind them. It kind of like motivated me to get going because I was taking a walk at that time. I was like, you know what, challenge accepted. And it was really fun. You guys, this is amazing. And honestly, I could see myself doing more of these. All right, I don't know if you can hear any of this because of that wind, but I'll check in with you guys later when there's less going on. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so the tiredness, it's hitting me. I am finally home. <laughs> Thank the Lord. I am tired. My feet are sore, but like in a good way. I don't know. I still feel really good. I just also feel very tired. Like I'm ready to shower and get a nap in and then get on with the rest of my Saturday. Oh, uh, okay. So updates. I just Googled average times for a 5k run and they say most runners average is about 30 to 40 minutes. So I was right within that bracket, that time frame, And so I 
that. <laughs> I'll give myself a pat on the back for that. That's pretty awesome. I honestly jogged most of it. I tried to keep a pretty steady pace. One thing I noticed is the second you stop running is when it kind of comes crashing down on you and you're like, oh my gosh. If I powered through, I would tell myself, get to that next marker and then you can stop. If I'm still feeling like I could run to the next kind of marker, whatever, then I would do it because your mind wants to give up before your body does. A lot of tips that they tell you as a runner is don't stop because once you do it all comes crashing down. Anyway, I kept that in mind, went with the power through mentality. I'm really happy and I'm really glad I did this. I'm really glad I challenged myself. I hope that you guys can find something that is out of your comfort zone. Do it because you can. Even if it doesn't go as well as you expect it, you can at least say, hey, I tried. That is such an amazing thing to say. It's something to feel good about afterwards. At least you did it. So I hung out for a little bit afterwards. I was kind of curious about it. It was about $45 to register. And I was like, where did the profits go? I just wasn't sure. And I was standing by the stage area and then all of a sudden they put the music on hold and start meow. And they start giving out checks to different local foundations. All of it's nonprofit. They give it all away to charity causes that they believe in that helps our community. And I thought that was so brilliant. Yes, Milo, I missed you too. And it made me feel good just to like see that giving back. They had 9,000 people. That is amazing to me. Overall, an amazing experience. Most of my little face stickers fell off. That's okay. I'm just, I'm over the moon right now. I'm feeling so happy. I am feeling confident and proud, and I'm really glad that I shared it with you guys too. Until next time, see you at the next 5K. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Thank you guys so much for watching and being with me through this. It's been a really fun couple of days. That's pretty much it. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay bright, guys. Let me know in the comments below something that you've always wanted to do but never had the confidence to do. And then at the very end of that sentence, say, next time I have the opportunity, I'm going to try it. And I will be right there cheering you on. I love you guys so much. I will see you next time. I will see you soon. Bye.